All right, welcome. I thought I'd do my first ever lineup builder. I've never done one before and I thought they're quite interesting. Definitely see where you prioritize, how you should be thinking about your team. So it's like, yeah, I hope this helps you. We're gonna start by deleting all the training teams. It is a painful task. I never usually do it. I like to roll them and just make changes, but essentially for the content, we're gonna be starting there. So wait for them to all delete and we'll get straight into it. It says I have six teams, but I've just deleted those. So yeah, we'll get into it. <clears throat> where do I start? Being the limited whale, it's typically in the limited division because it's where I'm gonna prioritize most. I don't actually look at prize pools. It's really good some other people look at prize pools, but the reason for that would be because in rare, in super rare, the pools change a lot more, but in limited, they really don't change because of, like Mbappe's in there pretty much all year round, I'm pretty sure, unless it's like a quiet midweek. So I don't really change there. I kind of consider where I have the best strength and where has the best reward. So where has the best reward? The answer is easy. It's specialist limited. It's the most reward in ROI on the game. A bit too much in my opinion, but we're not going to go into that. So I'd start in specialist. But the problem with specialists is not the, just the best players. You know, you can't just put your best team in there. It's about under 40s. So having a goalkeeper is always the best start because once you have a goalkeeper, you know, they're the lowest scoring players anyway. So if you can get one of those, it like doesn't cap your upside, whereas it does if you do it the other way around. So I'm going to start. What I essentially like to do to start is see how many good under 40s I have, not, oh, is that um, go straight to specialist? Because if you don't have good under 40s, you're going to waste some absolute monsters in there. So I know Bono's good, for example. I didn't expect him to be there. Um, Benkovic used to be good, but it looks like he's just gone above. Iago, I don't know about. I wish they put them in order. This is last 15. Kawak, he's good on the deadline, what I found really handy. Oh, that's painful. Mikey Johnson's gone over, I didn't realise. But what I found really handy is because you have the last deadline at say 11 o'clock some of the asian games start at 11 or 12 so you can see the lineup so that's why i have quack um so if he starts he can put up score but often he doesn't start so that was cool um mikey johnson's a pain i mean i can't believe he got a 60 ins now average 41 um and too fat you know i've played this guy every single week because eventually surely he's got to start or even if he doesn't start coming off the bench and getting a goal or two that's exactly what he done like first um first competition he was in or like first first game of the season he played or something. But he, he's cost me this league so many times, I just don't know if I can do it. Ooh, Sotalo. Now, he came off injured. I probably need to research whether that was an important injury. Tom Rogic, Rogic sorry, I don't think will play for West Brom where he didn't last game. Don't be afraid to check the DMPs because that's always a confusing one. But that, if I can play Sotalo, that would be huge. So... I'll place this Tarlow in defence, so that way I know basically essentially what is going to go into this. So Bono Sotalo. Now that's pretty monstrous, means I can put someone like my highest average in players now. So like Christian Naboa, I was going to sell him, but um, that looks like a reasonable fixture, mainly because I don't know that team. So Orenberg, I assume they're just coming up. I'll do more research outside of like this, but that's where we'd start. And then... Yeah, high scoring players, you put Messi in there. If you've got that strong of a team, St. Galean, Basel, mm, that's a tough fixture. Enzo, good, but not very explosive, but that could be perfect. If, like, because Enzo's playing CDM, like, not completely CDM, but more defensive essentially in this role, what that means is that he's going to. Um, not have those explosive scores as much because you'd need a triple triple compared to a decisive whereas when he's playing like an attacking role more at river plate he could be a bit more attacking um and then alternatively tony cruz because we've got oh i completely forgot that's so amateur hour. it's because it's been the international break you can only have one above so i've got the choice between messi and the boa so then it comes down to who you can replace him with if tony cruz is going to come in under under 60 he has to go in and then we've got one extra who has to be under 60. Wanyama won't score well enough. Benucci, I can't guarantee, will start. That Martin's injured. Loic Lapus, and I love him, but an away fixture. Oh, I don't think Leuven are great this fixture. Trent would be perfect. But then I need to see my under 23 team. Pedri, again, perfect. Hakimi, perfect. But the under 23s, I don't like to put the under 23s enough. I have a choice. 
Need to see if Cameron Carter-Vick is still injured. I should know that being a Celtic fan, but there hasn't been too much reported. Okay. I'm going to go with CCV because I can find out if he's injured quite easily. Um, well, I hope quite easily. You know, being a Celtic fan, I'll have close to the best knowledge I can about it. But that is a monster team. And it doesn't sacrifice our U23s because that's always my next priority. Just for um, example's sake, so what you can see here, right, where I put that team, Specialist Limited, there's 80 rare rewards. So it's, you know, your usuals. And I will check the under 23 rewards. Like I said, I don't usually do this, but just for the sake of it. Oh, and I forgot, La Liga Santander ticket challenge. Now, I only saw those 20 tickets. So you have 20 rewards for 414. Does it show you? Now, this is a brand new league, so you should be checking a prize pool for this. If you're not getting any cards with that, that doesn't seem good. So like I normally would prioritize something fun like that, but if there's no rewards, then, you know, essentially winning, coming like a tier one would win you more and you could just, you know, sell it and get a ticket anyway. So um, it looks like I'd be putting a reserve team out on that. And then onto the U23s, I guess, because that's always my top priority just because of how I've positioned my gallery. Um, if we look at the star limiters, like this way you check who's in there. So Mbappe's not there, but this Carlo guy, really expensive at the moment. Still a good pool. I mean, look, if you position your whole gallery that way, you've just got to go out and get them, obviously, because Mbappe hasn't been minted again. PSG haven't been minted, so there's not going to be many of them about. Oh, now this is where I have my first debate, right? Because Gian Luigi Donnarumma, I like more. Braga are really tough this year, actually. I think they're actually top of the league, if I remember. Again, I'm not going to look this up on stream or on the video because I know it'll confuse people. But the problem is Donnarumma is the best player, but then it sacrificed champion Europe. But this week I should be prioritising U23. Kunde's injured. Uh, gwindo has got a tough fixture. Trent and Hakimi. Hakimi's probably got the better fixture, and he stacks. And I like having a defensive stack in U23. You've really got to push yourself um, as far up the division as you can. Shemaini versus Pedri versus Enzo versus Skamansky. So Skamansky's away and a bit more of a risk. I love Shemaini, the way he's been playing. Get straight in there, and I can stack him here. I'm not mad about a midfielder attackive stack. It's just he probably was the best choice anyway. So then it's down to Pedri away. Trent at home. Did I just buy Trent and I'm not going to use him? Ah, Jota. Jesus. Can't believe I almost missed that. Um, yeah, be sure to check all your players. Oh, wow. That was uh, Captain Jota. He's the best selection of all of them. Lovely. Okay. So now I've done that, I've got to think, where's my next priority? And the next priority is actually um, Rare Pro now because I've just moved up. But the problem is I can't actually complete that lineup until I purchase one more player. So I'll do the little uh, live stream for that and let you show, show you all how I'm uh, thinking about buying this player. Um, Alvaro Valles, Las Palmas goalkeeper. He's the guy I'm after and he's ending in 43 minutes. So we should be all right for now. But let's build the team without him and then we can build and we, you know, we can essentially see who we need. So rare, I don't even know where it is, you know, because I never play it. So all star rare pro. Um, we're going to be using, like we said, we're going to be using that goalkeeper. So for now, we'll put a DMP goalkeeper in. Who's our best defender? Greg Taylor. Who's the best super? Demarai Bag. So obviously this is new to me. So you want to put in, so if you get an extra 40%, no, an extra 20% on, say, a 50. That would be out an average score on Greg Taylor. So we'll put him in for now. Vieira is the first choice. And then Azuni. Um, I know because it's like the whole point is to get La Liga 2 cards because of how strong they are. Or how strong I think they could be, sorry. And then who's the best choice out of these? So McGregor hasn't been impressing. I really think it's Greg Taylor. I think he's flying under the radar with his average. Vitolo's not fit yet who will be coming in here, which then makes a lot of sense and means it doesn't really matter if I was right or wrong on the headache choice between these two. Can you captain? I thought you can only captain the rare. Yeah, good knowledge. You can only captain the rare. Ooh, Granada. 
I know this team are close to the bottom of the league and he's just off an 86 and he just averages high anyway. So I think it could be Jonathan Vieira captain every week unless Granada have a really easy fixture. Um, I need to make sure he's playing as well, that Azuni, because he's playing tonight in a fixture. So beyond that, um, it goes into all-star rare. Now, this isn't my top priority. It's just because it kind of selects itself. So, you know, who's going to play? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, it picks up. There's not many... There's, there's literally no choice. The only one's Tom Rogic. So if Rogic didn't even get on the bench last game, I'm not going to put him in ahead of Souza, who, yes, not scoring well, but plays well. Captain's difficult. Maid is supposed to be injured. Oh, sorry, potentially injured. He didn't play the last game today. So Captain Kalmak, he's going to put up a solid score. And this is the thing. Putting up a solid score in All-Star Rare is great. Putting up a solid score in All-Star Limited isn't great for a captain. You want an explosive captain, a wing-back, so that it's either going to push you up or down. So if you're sitting in a TF2, it's going to push you up to a Tier 1, Tier 0, or push you out. That's fine. Or a Tier 3, push you out, or, or up to a Tier 1. There's a kind of like explosive scores that will really improve your game or kill your game, right? But because of the way the rewards come out, I always found it's better to actually be explosive. And this is because last year I tried to be as consistent as possible, and I won you know, lots of Tier 2s. But then when you realise one Tier 0 is far better than a load of Tier 2s, yeah, it doesn't really make sense. So um, that's why I try to be a bit explosive. So we're back into the limited league. Um, normally it'd be champion Europe. So we'll see who we've got left because we shouldn't have any keepers because Bono's gone. The Bono and Donnarumma are gone. So this is a problem when I was saying before, like I think Donnarumma will score better, but I think Costa, um, Costa will come in with an all right score usually this week i think you'll probably put up a bad score he's, he's risk of conceding free if if uh braga are top of the league which i checked recently so i'd be surprised if they're not but essentially it moves one team away and it's like we got griffo sitting on a nice score oh, i'm not a fan of this okay well let's check all star or do we go on to underdog let's check the mixed tournaments what is there Underdog Limited, Specialist, which we've entered, Legends, we don't talk about, Bundesliga Ticket Challenge. Start with Underdog because <clears throat> at least there's then like, you know, there's a cap, so you can't just put your best players. So it's harder for people because I've got a big gallery, I have the more options essentially. And under 45, again, to that rule, is more restricted than under 50. So it like, makes a little more sense. General rule of thumb, just use a goalkeeper here. They score zero, so get rid of the card you're not using. Um, Benkovic has been solid. <sighs> Don't know much about the fixtures. Justin Glad. This is just a reward I've recently just won, so yeah, no next to nothing about them. Okay. We'll start with Benkovic. Midfielder, Lucas Anderson, if he's got a good game, is always really solid. Don't think Kamavinga starts. So it's Lucas Anderson. If you are finding this content and like general thinking it through, you know, useful, let me know because obviously it's something I've never done before and it does take a little while. So Fatty comes in because we've got, yeah, we just need to make sure that he is fit to play because he was out. He wasn't even on the bench because I knew I had him in my team and he killed a team. So Fatty comes in there. Again, it's one of these where it's like you're playing Fatty and Fatty's got a big chance of ruining your whole lineups. So if everyone's fit, you don't play Mikey Johnson against Benfica. This is a tough one. I don't think Rogic will play Falcao. Joseph Martinez has been a disaster recently. Oh, oof, not against uh, Feyenoord. Ryan's been putting up average scores. Why are all my comments here, mate? It's so annoying. And rares and super rares and uniques. Get rid of all of them. Ah, Iago. Schalke. Augsburg. Yeah, there we go. Captain Fatty for the explosiveness. You need you don't need to be as explosive here. A good score. Probably should have gone Fatty. If you're going to play him, he's either going to kill it or make it. Yeah, this is... A tough one for me. I always go with, if they're not going to play, then captain. If there's a risk they're not going to play and you're playing them, captain them. Because if they do play, then obviously they're very good, which is why you're playing them as they're a doubt, when usually it's, if in doubt, leave them out. So we'll captain them. But it hasn't been working well. But obviously I haven't had many game weeks to trial that, so we can't read into it too far. Um, Specialist Limited, we've done. 
So I guess we're to regions. And again, I always like to be more specific first because the more specific it is, the harder it is. For example, champion's harder than all-star because all-star has, well, that's actually not true, is it? Because all-star's harder to win because more competition. It's harder, it's harder as a player, right? If it's harder for you to make a team and your team could be better, it's a specific case, isn't it? Challenger versus all-star. In all-star, if you've got a really strong challenger lineup, that's better than most of the other teams in the world, then you put them in all-star because you can win more. But if it's just a run-of-the-mill team, well, essentially, I, I don't know what the team's going to look like until I build it. And in this case, because I've ruined my champion team, unless I buy a goalkeeper, I will need to go out and get an, another keeper anyway. So we start a challenger with the best team. God, that took far too long to decide, but that's confused everyone. Now, Ote Bainda is probably second best choice behind Hart, but I'm going to sell him, so it doesn't matter how Joe Hart goes. We are using CCV. So we've got to see if more it's Yen's plays, but I think Starfelt will be back fit. But then if CCV doesn't play, then Yen's goes in. Gwindo. Look at those averages, man. That's tough. That is really tough. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in Cameron Carter Vickers because I, I remember something. I remember something very well. Uh, this team picks itself then because you've got Kyogo, Kyogo Aloik. It's not that close. It's Kyogo. That team is incredibly solid now. I love that team. Uh, Captain Naboa. Now I don't want to sell Naboa. Which is fine. So if we go limited mix. Oh, sorry. It's teams. It's going to be a draft. My specialist has been cancelled. Do you know who's going straight in? The main man. The new signing. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Come on. The only problem I see with this is Messi is such a big XP. Is it important? We'll consider that after. 13% XP is huge on a card like Messi. But that's a really nice team. Um, Trent will be that explosive and Messi and Cruz will be the kind of run of the mill putting up similar scores. Similarly very high scores, which is just the nature of the game, which is obviously why I own them. <sighs> All right, so... Champions should be a problem. So it's just the all-star. Let's see who goalkeepers we have left. So Diogo Costa. Oh, I can't leave him out. Bunda, I'm looking to sell. Bainda, sorry. So it's just Costa left. Okay, Kunde's injured. Man, I'm going to have so many teams and so many players in training this week. If Kunde's injured, it's got to be Costa. At Gwindo. Lennon's been on fire, but it's just not... Not decisive enough. And then Griffo. Oh, Pellegrini and Pedri. Oh my God, I've got to do something with these. Pellegrini has got a tough fixture away to winter, to be fair. Griffo and Pedri. Okay. I've got an idea. It depends who, who I've got up front. Now this, this is what I'm talking about. I'm thinking of putting Messi in this team. I can't put Messi in this team. I can't put Messi in any team except for Specialist. It would improve both teams, but again, it's that like improving two medium teams from tier threes to two, tier twos or one really good team that's getting a tier one, tier zero or one player that's getting nothing. And I'd much rather take the second scenario as everyone should, right? Nothing or absolutely winning it. Um, Luis Araujo, he's probably best choice here quite comfortably. At gun will be sold. Like's been good, but I have no idea how easy that fixture is. Pelly or Pedri, it's definitely Pedri, isn't it? It's Pedri every day of the week, but that is a lot of players wasted. Okay, so those would be my best lineups. Griffo looks like the player there. That team's good, but it's a big risk. It's a champion. Maybe I just need to go out and get a champion keeper. Or. Oh, it's so tricky. I'm just doing this as an example to see what I could play. No, I'm not I'm not missing that much here. Oh, but this is when I start thinking. If my players are that good, let's check my U23 team quickly. Because rather than prioritizing U23, I could prioritize champion. And the whole team's champion. Yes, yes, that makes perfect sense. Because the whole team's champion except for Messi. Okay, watch this. Gigi, Hakimi, 
Is Shemaini the best choice? Yeah. I mean, it's Cruz or Shemaini. Shemaini's been outscoring them this year, but... Pedri. Pedri does have an easy fixture. But he's away. I hate away fixtures. I always prioritise home. And this is an easy fixture. Vinny Jr. And that's when you slick in Messi. So I can captain Messi on his 13%. And it's a Madrid PSG stack. It's a good life when you can do that. That means I have a choice of what to do with Jota. I think the easy choice is to drop him in here instead. How much is his XP though? Like if I'm just trying to solve the XP problem, I've actually made it worse because he's on 13% as well. Because what you could do, Diogo Costa. Oh, I can't put Trent in there, can I? I'm essentially just tear tearing up every team I've just made. Pedri's great. I love Pedri. Because if Costa doesn't concede free, he's going to be on for a big score. So it's one of those explosive games. No, I can't prioritise that. I have to prioritise Specialist Limited. But ideally, you don't want Messi... Mm. Vinny. That is tough. Because Messi should score higher than Vinny. Oh, see, this is what I hate doing, where I'm making teams worse for the sake of more teams. And who replaces... Who have I just taken out of that team? No one. Um... Then this team's U23 again. Freiburg Mines. Trent Pelly, Pedri. So it's Pedri or Griffo. Who do you think scores better? Oh, that's a tough call. And then I hate that team. Not hate it, but it's just worse. All right. Let's let's say this again. We are prioritizing specialist. Check how long left on that auction. 29 minutes. Okay. We are prioritizing specialist. Those are... That's not a great game for Bono. Oh, it is though, because Atletico don't score too many. Now I look at it, it's not like a world-beating team, so that makes a lot of sense. Is there anyone that isn't Vinicius Junior that we can put in? Jota has the best fixture of everyone. Literally everyone. He is... <sighs> Am I really going to boil this down to XP? Am I going to throw away teams for XP? I've never done that before. It's just because XP is really on my mind this week because I've done some calculations on it and a couple of discussions. Oh, help me, someone. <laughs> someone help me. Um... The priority is specialist. Put your best player there. Yeah. I don't even need to put Jota or Messi. Messi's been scoring higher than Jota. So it's Jota. Uh, so it's Messi. And then we're tearing apart that team for the... This is how, like internal dilemmas and you come out looking at your team thinking what am I doing like so good so good should be so good but it's the first week and against Brighton all you need is an assist so good so good medium good but it's boom or bust yes yes stick with that team stick with that team just forget about specialists just think that is an incredible team so now do we merge this into U23 and miss a goalkeeper. But do we? Because if we... Do we even have a backup for Costa here? Mm, Binder. And we're back to the same problem, which is just too many good players in, in training, which is good for some people, but I, I just can't do it. I just can't bring myself to do it. That is a lovely team. They're all U23. And then it's Vinny. No, that U23 team is just killer. I have to get that team back. That is a killer team. Bring them all back. Hakimi. 
Shemaini, Jota and Vinny. Not only is it killer, I absolutely love them all. They're like some of my favourite players in football right now. Champion. Just go out and buy a keeper if you need one, I guess. Panucci. Pelly. Awful. Awful. This is just a training team here. Let's train a team. I'll put Kunde in it because. So, what are we wasting? Nothing. It's the All Star where there's some good players in All Star we haven't put in. <laughs> All that towing around, I think we've got to the exact same spot we started on. Could be an American goalkeeper I need. Which I'm more than happy to buy because they're so cheap right now. I was actually going to buy one for like. Okay, well if we put in, yeah, watch this. I think we've just got another team out of this without spending, about, without breaking the bank on a Tramp Europe goalkeeper. So Mason's not going to play. B. Lennon. Wanyama. Oh, Columbus Crew. Or, oh, DC, aren't they awful? DC United awful? I think they're awful. I think people tell me they're awful. I'm no MLS expert. And then I can just buy one goalkeeper at a massive discount. It's not a great team, is it? I've weakened one all-star team, which I'm not mad about anyway. I think that's it. For now, this is it. I do this in my head about a hundred times, but like, that's not a bad starting spot, is it? So let's run through these teams. Um, have I got a casual team as well? It's always good to have a casual team out, not for the rewards, but actually for the... Um, for the reward of the casual player, um, the common player. Because if you get a common player, you can train your players a lot better. Don't really care about it. I'll just go with like the PSG boys. Yeah, I knew I had a Marquinhos. And uh, Kimmich is just Kimmich, Messi. Who's Zenit's fixtures? More for like the challenger. Because if Zenit pop off, oh, I just like, I just play the same team every time. I don't care too much, but it'd be good to know how good that Zenit fixture is to see if my challenger team. Sorry, to see if my challenger team has a chance. Okay. The teams. Ten teams for now. All-Star Rare Pro. My first outing on All-Star Rare Pro. It's not the strongest I can be. I still need a defender and another super rare and the goalkeeper, which I'm buying. Hopefully, shortly, if I get outbid, I'll be raging. You'll see it, though. So stay tuned for that. Um, Vieira, Uzi, Monsters. Yeah. Yeah, loving that team. All-Star Red Pro, no point. Picks itself. Babakin, great. Herrera's been well. Souza average. McGregor, above average. Maeda might not play, but we have no other options. Underdog 45. Forgot about this team. It's one of those, you know. It's probably one of the favourites to win. Not like, you know, it's probably top 20% of the people that enter just because they're good players, you know. Um... Challenger, I think it's a great team. Just need to make sure everyone's fit, which obviously I'll do. And then if one person's not fit, that changes the whole algorithm completely or, you know, change all my selections. Uh, Bono, Trent, Sotalo, Cruz, Messi. If they're all fit, I love it. Oh, I've just had four. Is Bono rotational now? That game, how did he play in the last game? Because I remember someone came in for him in this game and they kept a clean sheet, the second choice. <sighs> okay, I can't overthink it, but that's one of those things you always forget. You remember something, it's like, okay, if Bono's a doubt and you're putting him in the team with Trent, Messi and Cruz, is that a wise choice? We won't go into it now because we need to see how much of a doubt he is. U23. Should all be locked unless anyone comes back late. But I love that team. Champ Europe throw away. America, we need a goalkeeper. And All-Star, the last real com competitive one. Yeah, you know, that's not one of those that should be aiming to win it. That's one of those that's aiming for tier twos or tier one at absolutely best, I'd say. But of course, on its day, like any team, it can win. But, you know, it's not in the top 50% of, of teams. It's probably not in the top 60, I'd say. Um, yeah, I would say it's top 50 between 50-60% people probably don't even understand that it's just a weird thing that how I calculate how good the team is so there we go 
that concludes my first lineup building. And this will probably not be the teams that you see me post on Twitter when the game week goes live. But yeah, let me know what you thought. Did this help you? Did it not? Yeah. If you did, please leave a, uh, leave a comment. And I'll do these sort of things some more. Obviously, not every game week because yeah, it'll be a lot of the same decision making and, and you know thought process. I'm trying to help you guys think about your teams more because I definitely think about them probably too much. But yeah, all the best to you. Cheers.